The latest jobs report shows employment is still healthy but slowing down. Michael George has a look inside the numbers. The leisure and hospitality industry, including restaurants, added 72,000 workers last month. But that's way down from the average monthly gain of 95,000 over the past six months. Other industries like healthcare are seeing a similar slowdown. Overall, the economy added 236,000 jobs in March, a significant drop from the employment gains in January and February. The unemployment rate is at 3.5%. 236,000 jobs in a month is certainly a big slowdown. It's the slowest job growth since December of 2020. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger says overall growth is being slowed by cuts in some industries. In March, Meta announced a second round of layoffs involving 10,000 workers. Amazon is in the midst of letting 9,000 more employees go. Goldman Sachs and Disney are also downsizing. Companies announced 270,000 job cuts in the first quarter of 2023, a nearly 400 percent increase from the same period last year. But the weakening job market could be a good sign for the Federal Reserve, which has been raising interest rates in an attempt to slow the economy and inflation. The Fed needs to see the labor market cool down. The reason is when job growth is robust, when wages are rising, it means that people have more money in their pockets and spend more. That spending can contribute to inflation. The Fed will soon find out if inflation is easing. The government is releasing a new report on consumer prices next week. Michael George, CBS News, New York. The report shows 236,000 new hires last month. That's just shy of the 238,000 expected. In a statement responding to the report, President Biden says it shows his economic agenda is working. He also warns that the GOP's debt ceiling fight could put those job gains at risk. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says he wants Biden to come to the table for negotiations. Biden says he wants Republicans to show their plan first.